You know, I remember when I was saved, there were a few times that I began to wonder because I didn't feel what I thought I should feel. And there were times I stumbled along the way and I wondered, I, I don't know if I'm saved or not, but can I tell you, he paid the ransom. He paid the required price and he paid it in full. And here's what he did. He took you and I who were fatherless, you and I who were orphaned in this slave market, and he adopted us and made us sons and daughters. Come on, somebody, and say amen. You know, I learned something. Years ago, I was sitting, sitting in a, a room full of young people. We were sitting around a table. I had come that day to learn. And they started talking about this thing of, of adoption and sonship. And I remember saying to them, when I was young, we just sing, uh, he's my father. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I'm a child of the king. And his royal blood flows through my veins. And, and we kind of understood it and got it. And somebody in that room said to me, and they called me dad. They said, we didn't grow up in the world that you grew up in. And there's a lot of people in these generations that we're living in that did not have the right relationship with their father. Some of them, their father was MIA. And when they start talking about the love of the Father, they struggle to understand how this Almighty God loves them enough to adopt them. But can I tell you, when he provided that lamb, he provided that lamb to adopt us and make us as though that we had always been in the house of the king. If you look into the word of God in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, the Bible said, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Jesus Christ. Isaiah 56 and 5 said, Even will I give unto them that are in my house within my walls a place and a name that is better than of sons and of daughters. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1 and 5 said, He predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. Behold the provided lamb. But then as you walk through the scripture, you come then to the prophets. And in Jeremiah eleven nineteen, 19, Jeremiah said, I was as a gentle lamb that is led to the slaughter. That word that was used there, I am led to the butchery. In Isaiah chapter 53, he said, I was as a gentle lamb that is led again to the butchery. And as a sheep goes before her shears is dumb, so he opens not his mouth. Behold the punished lamb. And listen, I understand that people, a lot of folk in our culture today, we don't like this kind of talk. But you've got to look on the awfulness of Calvary. You've got to look at what they did because there had to be a, there had to be a spotless sacrifice. There had to be a sinless sacrifice to take the penalty. 